Welcome back to another episode of Project Hospital. Episode 2. We're going to go ahead and click this cool button. Thank God here we can skip straight on till morning. So after we paid wages, let's get back to the last day. We had to pay our clinic wages, 1300 for the emergency department, radiology, so we actually showed a profit of $451 in the emergency clinic. Um, radiology showed a loss because I guess they didn't make any money. So we've got 30 patients coming in today. Um, let's go ahead and let's get let's get another doctor hired, like right now. Okay, we need somebody who's pretty good. Oh, I like Elizabeth. She's got 63% general medicine. Um, acute would be, I guess that's our critical. That would be the emergency room. So she might eventually get moved over to the emergency department when we open that. Good diagnosis, but also advanced diagnosis. Advanced diagnosis specialization gives the doctor access to differential diagnosis. So she's expensive, well expensive, but hidden perks. Oh, and we don't know that. So hard worker does not take free time breaks. And we hired her, so now can we check her out? Two hidden perks, huh? I guess may we find those out as we go? Because can we see? Oh, Greg House is slow. Well, hey, that makes sense. Because if you've seen the show, walks with a cane. Good boss, improve satisfaction, supervise colleagues every morning. Well, I guess that's perfect since we uh, made him head of the department. So, let's get to it. Let's cure some peoples. Oh, the patients are rolling in. So we got three doctors. I mean, they realistically each got to treat 10 patients in a day, which I don't know, might be stretching it. You know, maybe we got to get that fourth doctor in there. But we want to, if we don't have to hire them, don't. Because, you know, that's just more expensive than wages. So our new doctor's tre treating Lisa Young. Oh, definitely going probably to, uh, yep, going to get an x-ray. I'm going to follow her over here. This baby x-rayed and it's an arm contusion. Well, this guy must be waiting for uh, x-ray. Yep, he's getting his back x-rayed. Ooh, a couple people over here. Where did our technician go? Oh, technician had to use the bathroom. Getting a line for x-ray. I have a feeling we are eventually going to have two x-ray rooms because it is a popular 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 tool so to get the next insurance company open general surgery department so yeah once we have a general surgery department but that's not happening not for a little while Ooh, yeah, we're hiring another doctor. Look at that. Look at that waiting room. Who do we got that's good here? I think this one's about our best. Hey, 
and I could be going with cheap, but I don't. I want I want good doctors at my hospital. I I want to take good care of my patients. Clear our notifications. Got to get some money rolling in. I think we're going to be putting in another doctor's office very soon. I think we'll put this one in first. We still haven't hired a receptionist. I don't know how important that is. Do we have anybody with a receptionist skill? We do. Let's throw them in there and see what happens. Oops. I, so I think, I don't remember where I found that. Departments. Somewhere I found a dependency tree that. Right there it is. So. If they're immobile and they come in the ambulance, they're going straight to the trauma center. If they're a low hazard, okay, yeah, see, so if they're a low hazard, they're going straight to the waiting room. Medium to high hazard, they need the reception. And then obviously from the waiting room to the doctor's office. And then potentially to the stat lab. And if they go to the stat lab, they're back to a doctor's office. I'm not not sure how that chart really flows but regardless this receptionist may be a moot point we may want to fire her just to save us money because what are we paying her hundred seventy nine dollars All right, speed it back up. We've treated five patients. I think we were at eight thousand dollars about when we started. When we started the day, and it's climbing. But granted, at the end of the day, we're gonna have to pay salaries. So need another bathroom too crazy maybe I could kind of eliminate that get rid of that waiting room just move the stuff around add another long waiting room put another bathroom back to back Too bad you can't designate male and female or something. You can do that in Two Point Hospital, but this is not Two Point Hospital. No, this is Project Hospital. So I just got to give a shout out. Uh, I've been away from YouTube for a little while. I've been over on Twitch doing a lot of live streaming. And I will continue to do live streaming, so if you don't follow us over on Twitch, hit us up there, give us a follow, Winter Hermit Gaming. Um, that way we do the live streams of these games. You can join in in the discussion. Um, you can help us name in doctors and stuff in our planning right along the way, live as we go, um, as well as many other games. Again, we've got Two Point Hospital. Oh, we got a big list. Big list, a lot of games. Everything from city building, hospital building, transport games like Transport Fever, uh, Project High Rise where you build skyscrapers, or survival games, Ark, Rust, Seven Days to Die. So yeah, definitely give us a follow there. And if you don't, subscribe right here on YouTube so you can follow along click that bell so you get notified when we post our new videos because we are gonna be back to pumping out some videos we're definitely gonna be 
trucking along in this Project Hospital series. I first started out, actually I started playing this game on my live stream. I did a 24 hour Extra Life live stream and oh this game just, oh we hit our 20 patients. Um, this game just boggled me from the beginning, it was so in depth. But now that I'm starting to get a good feel for it, it's it's not so bad. That was nice. That was next one's thirty patients in a day. Oh man. Ooh, if we get our two thousand dollar daily profit, we get hospitalization in our emergency department. I'm guessing we can make some really good money with some overnight stays. Okay. What we do need for certain is a cleaning crew. So, in emergency, it must be here. No, it's here. Just gotta find it. Cleaning closet right there. Let's go ahead and put it right at the end of the hall. And then we gotta hire a janitor. Speed when cleaning, efficiency affects how well janitors plan when cleaning different rooms. Um, so since we're only going to have one, we want the best one we can get. And I think it's, uh, for less money, I think it's actually, oh, but they've got hidden traits. Let's do it for once. They're depressed. And they're germaphobe. They can be late for work. And they love food. Okay, let's go with Nancy. She's kind of depressing, but... Oh yeah, we got to turn the speed back up here. So it looks like a wallet. We're gonna have to start decorating walls here eventually. Scared of the walls completely. And we've pretty well ended the day. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna skip to the next day here. All right, I decided we better look at our profit first. So. We brought in 5,300, which is pretty good considering in, considering day one we brought in 1,800. Day two, we brought in $5,300. The question is gonna be, what did we spend in wages? Drum roll. Twenty five hundred twenty seven. I feel like that should have completed this. Reach two thousand daily profit at emergency. Maybe we gotta hit the very end of the day. So let's see. And straight on till morning. Yeah, see, there it is. Reward, hospitalization at emergency. Okay. Objective complete. Reach 70% prestige at the end of the day at emergency. Reward, next interns available for hire will be great candidates. Okay, sounds cool. So now for hospitalization and emergency, We've got to have observation room, trauma center, 
nurse's station, an on-call room, which is where our doctors hang out. And then we've got to have at least a doctor, a nurse, stretcher, as well as a doctor and nurse at night. So, I'd say we got uh, got some goals. And did we... Did we meet two requirements? Because I think we got a grant in there too. So now when we enable hospitalization, we're going to get the intensive care unit. Um, okay, let's click back to this. We're skipping night, we're moving on. back till morning so let's look let's look at yesterday yeah so we had a lot of income all right well so what do we want to do next We've got the functioning x-ray I mean, really, the next step is getting hospitalization enabled. And I kind of feel like that means we get to start our emergency department. So, like... I kind of feel like we wasted with this reception area here. But it is what it is. Build prefab. Reception. That have to be flipped. I kind of want it there. So then they walk in. The reception's to the left. And then I've got a plan. I do, I do. So then from here, we need a waiting room. Maybe. Let's look at our requirements again. We gotta have a nurse's station. Minimum requirements, three nurses, three nurses. Pretty nice. I mean, my goal is to have a really, really big banging emergency department. I don't really want to impede too much into there because I think I'll probably have another another x-ray or something something in there okay so let's start over on the other side we gotta have trauma rooms trauma center is that part of the requirements yes we gotta have a trauma center So what I want, how much is my trauma center here? Oh my lord, 23,000. So 
So there we go. There's the trauma center. Now I want a corridor. We're out of money. We're borrowing money. We're doing it. Now, let's put in that nurse's station. That one's seven grand. It's 56. Like I say, we're going to have a sweet sweet emergency department eventually so let's just go ahead and plop this in mm. now we want it there we're just gonna move that out of the way. And what are what else are we missing? We gotta have an observation room and an on call room yet. Okay. So this basically houses several patients. This is two, this one will do Several. Ooh, big cost difference. Big cost difference. I guess, uh, I guess let's go big. I mean, here we're going to be able to observe twice as many patients. Another loan. And so we got the nurse's station. Oh, we need the observation room yet. I don't know. We got the observation room. What are we missing? On call room. Got to have a place for our doctors to hang out. 10 by 6 or 8 by 6. 5,500, 4,500. I think that's probably plenty adequate. I think we can actually maybe just fit it in there. Because our corridor technically kind of comes up into the reception area. Nah, I don't want to block it off. So let's put it here. Leave that kind of open. Because that can that can extend up for radiology then we can utilize this whole area up here and we've got eleven dollars left oh really we are we are going really far in debt. Twelve hundred dollars in interest alone. Okay, let's throw some walls up here and get ourselves a. Uh, oh, we've got a. Got to finish building this here. Let's throw
throw another corridor in there. So we gotta move these around a little bit. Whoops, no. Yes, yes, and finish off the wall. And we better wall this off. Wall this off over to here. I think we're all enclosed. Um, let's go ahead and put a door in there. We're going to kind of keep that area separate yet. Let's go ahead and put in a door. Okay, where are we at? We've met all the rooms, so now we need one doctor and one nurse for day and for night. So, doctor gonna have to be good in Ooh, I tell you what let's who is our good doctor that is it Elizabeth yes she was good at this we're going to reassign her to here and then we're just gonna go ahead and hire a new doctor for her office um, you'll do Jennifer now I need a nurse uh, what do we need we need let's go with this I like this specialist capable of revealing appearance of patient symptoms okay so now we need night staff so we got to have a doctor for night ooh and look at that Jane super good at acute medicine oh you're fantastic you are going to be our night doctor and we got to have a decent nurse in here you know there's not a great choice Barbara, you're it. There we go. Enable hospitalization at emergency reward intensive care unit. So let's get back at it. Let's actually see what we got going on here. So treat 30 patients is going to give us 20,000. Um, actually, if we treat 30 patients, we're going to get 40,000. The problem is, uh, we can't treat all 30 patients. Can we buy an ambulance? How do we rename facility? Oh. This one's good. This one is up to you guys. Here is where we can rename our hospital. Right now we're just anonymous hospital. We need a good name for this clinic and hospital. It's growing. It's going to get bigger. So come up with a name. Leave it in the comments. And I think we're going to call that an episode. We've, we've completed our actual emergency room. We can take in critical patients. So again, hit us up on uh, Twitch, Winter Hermit Gaming. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. We appreciate it. Follow along. That completes episode two of Project Hospital. We're going to be back with more again. Remember... In the comments, let's name this hospital. Winter Hermit Gaming, out. Thanks for following along. Game on.